we're, we're privileged to have him continuing in the environment and he will go on to be a fantastic coach and, and really important for us moving forward. There's always a feeling, like I think, players always feel they could have done a little bit more maybe. Um, I don't know if regret is really the right word. Like, of course, I would have loved to have played um, in more, I suppose, big games for Ireland um, over the years. But, like, I look back and, you know, I came through through underage rugby with a lot of really good players that had to retire at quite a young age as well. So, in many ways, I'm very, very thankful for the experience I did get, you know. And, um, and yeah, listen, like, it, it, in many ways, it also made my sort of experience with Leinster all a bit more special as well. Which a team, a team that I've had so much affection for for such a long period of time. So I try not to live my life with regret, um, and just kind of look forward to what I can do next. Yeah, the only man who will have picked up three hundred cups. How does that kind of sit with you in terms of achievements? And when you look back, what will you make of your European adventures and successes? Yeah, listen, we had our awards ball on Saturday, and uh, I'm not generally not that sentimental, but like it was more like in sort of thinking about the nights. Um, yeah, listen, I look back and I've had so many favourable days. Um, when we when we won, obviously in 2009, there's sort of the sense of relief that it, the sort of the organisation squad had after we've been striving for so long to get to that point. Um, 2011 was sort of a feeling of euphoria um, after sort of coming from behind in the manner that we did and then I suppose 2012 was kind of just reaffirming the kind of ambitions of the team that we wanted to stay successful so and even last year obviously we went on to win the Pro 12 and the Amman as well so yeah listen we've had some great days in recent times um, changed I suppose the, the environment the way people think you know and I think there's a lot of good young players coming through with that similar mindset now and that's probably what I'm most excited I suppose about and proud of going forward, I guess. Neil, you know, um, just to pick up something Brian uh, touched on there about, about the culture around the club and, and how important that is, is it a, a really challenging time for all the Irish provinces at the moment uh, in, the, in the way that the world of rugby around it is changing? And are you, have you any concerns about it? Yeah, there's, there's, listen, there's always challenges, but like if you look back from when I started off where professional rugby started in Ireland in, what, 97, uh, 96, 97, uh, like it's, you know, we're, we're streets ahead, you know, and I think Ireland are definitely punching above our weight. There obviously is concerns with, you know, like where, where money is involved, some certain leagues, you know, accelerate at different paces. Um, but everyone's working very hard to sort of, you know, on, on some of the potential threats that are out there. Um, you know, from an Irish point of view, I think the process of developing players to play for the national team still is the most important role and obviously the provinces play a big part in that you know because they generally are there you know doing the nitty-gritty work of <coughs> sourcing players and putting through the development process you know so you know that's still obviously the biggest game or biggest um, task for us as, 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 as provinces. Is it realistic to expect to continue that as provinces when you're competing and to continue the success that the provinces have had in European rugby when there are other clubs whose sole focus is their, their own success? That's the challenge, but listen, we would hope that we are producing guys that first and foremost want to play for Leinster. This is where they've grown up. Obviously, we've got some guys that we, we, we look to bring in as well into the mix, but you know, we would like to think we offer a, a better package overall than what's on offer somewhere else. Um, behind the scenes, like there's so much work goes in in terms of developing <coughs> players from a S and C nutrition, you know, skill basis so that they can be the best players that they can possibly be when they represent Ireland. And at the end of the day, like the international game I think is still the most important part of rugby, you know, the rugby brand all across the world. So we need to make sure it's attractive for our players to stay in our system so they can be the very best when they get to that level, you know, because, you know, we want to breed, you know, the next Brian O'Driscoll, the next world-class star, and we would like to think that Leinster would be the best place for that to happen for those guys. You're obviously thinking about the bigger picture, Leo, already, but are you walking around training these days going, changing that next season, changing that? Um, I probably like that for the last 10 years anyway, <laughs> so, um, I don't know, listen, like, uh, 
when you're where you're very immersed in something, and you know, like from a player point of view, I'm, I'm quite immersed in it all the time. Um, even when you're at home, you're you're like constantly thinking of of games. And listen, I don't think that's going to change. It just means I have a desk here now instead of a locker, so um, and I don't have to go through the physical pain of winters and that sort of thing. But um, yeah, listen, I'll just be inflicting the pain from now on. So um, listen, it's it's a very different challenge, but. Uh, I'm sure I'll miss the buzz of the big games. There's no doubt about that. Um, but for me, yeah, it's like I'm just turning the page. Listen, I think every player realised they can't play on forever. So to get 36, um, it's yeah, it's hard to believe really. Like when I was in my 20s, I thought I'd be finished by th when I was 30. So to milk an extra six years the way I see it. So um, and six amazing years as well. So it's it's uh, been very very enjoyable.